So, working on a Steris Harmony Air G5 surgical light tool head system. We got a fault light over there. So, I've looked at this previously and determined the issue is both we have two uh, LED modules that are intermittently working. So, lenses are falling off, just cheaply installed, unfortunately. So, a little super glue put those back on. Uh, and then there's a cable issue here in the arm. So I had to pull the head off. To pull the head off is, and attention to my mess. So up here on the arm where it connects in, uh, where you see a hole, you will find a brake screw that pulls out and this whole thing's will rotate. Sorry, rotate. There's a screw here, a screw here. And you'll get these tiny little flathead screws. Pull those both out. Then generally it's a good idea to climb up onto a ladder so you don't have any resistance on this arm because it's going to want to spring up once you remove the weight, i.e. the light head. Slowly pull the light head off while making sure you're supporting the light head because it's going to get real heavy real quick as soon as it disconnects and you don't want to drop it and put yourself in a whole world to hurt. Make sure this arm is as far up as it goes. This is it. Take that off so you don't lose it. Keep the screws somewhere safe so you don't get lost because that'll be a nightmare. And then here we are. So now to pull this light head apart, let's unscrew this. I've already done it, so it looks so easy. It takes a little bit of torque to undo this, but you see it's just screwed in. No set screws or anything. Next up is these four screws. And I may have misspoken. Uh, you gotta pull this out first too, so. Just turn this down here, and it's one screw here, not here. There we go. Off to the side, and then these four screws. Now, I prefer to use an Allen key on these because sometimes these are soft and using a drill or an impact driver will strip the heads out. And then how are you going to get them in or out? you got to drill them out and find replacements. And anyway, now once that's out, this comes off. Just look for the cable. It's got this crazy little clip thingy here to help keep it from falling apart. Off to the side. Screws off to the side somewhere safe. Try to have a nice clean work area. Next up, this ring. That's just an easy flat plate screwdriver to pry that off. And then can pull all of this off here. Now, as I think about it, I'm not sure I need to remove this part, but who cares? Not important. There we go, all that. Now we can go to the screws. So this has to come off. There's a whole bunch of screws and clips hanging down there. The nice part about using the Zora table is the space nice and open so we don't have to worry about crushing or damaging that. So now that we got it flipped over, there's a bunch of plastic screws you have to look out for. Don't break those. I did ask them to order those. I guess they did not get ordered. It stinks. Whatever. Because previous techs have clearly broken some of these. Nice and easy. Don't be too rough, you'll break them. I got two that were broken. One, one, two. Let's go. Next. Ah, oh, these seven screws right here. Alright, so do these. Same Allen key as before. And there we go. Now they're all off. Okay. Now, I'm gonna pull the leg apart. Comes off pretty easy. And then down here, see that tape? You know, I hate electrical tape. That's where the damage is. There we go. So we're going to replace this entire wiring harness. Ah, fun. Fun, fun. This is ripped out, which half the time is causing that error code over there. Oh, is that? So I'll pull off this cover. Nice little number one Phillips. Pull the cable through there. Now we get to the connection in there. So I go to the other end, pull both of these covers off. See, so it access the cable, which is extremely long, and just fold it over and you can pull it out. Then you can have the fun part of sneaking it back through. There we go. There's our connection. 
Not with the old, and with the new, and not with the cable. There's no difference between the two ends. Oh, sorry, never mind, there is. See that? Black Mox connector goes to the board. That one's there. This one stays in. And a little insulation to make sure it doesn't get damaged. I like this to be down here. So because there's nothing else in this conduit, this pipe here, it should be easy to snake it through. You shouldn't have to run a string or a snake or anything else. You should be able to get it almost right there. I don't know if you can see that. Trust me, it's there. All right, I need a pair of needle nose to help pull it. So be careful, I don't want to rip it out. And we put it back where we started. Yay, it's going for the big double hinge needle nose. Back in. Bada bing, bada boom. There we are. Should keep it under the deck. This old connector. Now, before I replace, before I rewire this, let's replace the bad module. So I took one out. Tiny, tiny little screws. Thankfully, come with some new ones. Cut the jar because I don't wash it. But your modules, and you can see, they're just kind of. You see that there we go, melted in there. Not, not super great. Eventually with the heat, even with the LEDs, there's still heat, it's just a small amount. That heat generates and they melt. There we back in and wired. Tiny tiny screws. These are a this is the bit. I couldn't yeah, I'm missing some allen keys, but there you go, it's a 1.5 X or 1.5 inch. Unfortunately I'm missing that one. That's the allen keys. But it's in. One water place, and we'll start putting the same back together. Alright, slap it all back together. Long story short, we're done. Boom, boom. Chicka, 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 boom, boom. Good, good. Now, <clears throat> we finished with a lot of fault code. You have to turn the unit on and off five times, or go to the control box up top. Disconnect it, there's a reset, no, disconnect it, or there's a reset button, you can hold down for a few seconds. And if our fault is cleared, it's cleared. There's also a way to get the code. If you hold these two down for a few seconds, you'll get two different lights. You'll get one set of LEDs for whatever the error code is. And the next one is two, four, six. These six are lit up, meaning end of codes. That's all.